These have to be thrown away. Karen Wallace is an inspector with the Ohio State Board of Cosmetology. I have a couple questions for you. On this afternoon, she was inspecting nail salons. You would scrub it with your scrubber. As we discovered in this ABC Six on Your Side investigation. It's just a warning today. Nail salons that don't follow the rules. It's a danger to the uh, public. That's because they're ripe breeding grounds for fungus, bacteria, even serious staph infections called MRSA. It's a very serious infection. Dr. Mary Jo Kearns is with Dermatologist of Greater Columbus. Those instruments can pick up the bacteria, they can pick up the fungus, and then transfer it to the next client or patient. Dangerous bacteria and fungus can also live in foot tubs that aren't properly disinfected. According to Dr. Kern, some of this nasty stuff can be very tough to treat. Topicals usually don't work for fungal infections, so you can't just give the patient one pill, which is a problem. Some people are allergic to a certain class of antibiotics, so you're limited as to what you can use. What I'm looking for here is contamination. The Ohio State Board of Cosmetology's resources are also limited. And can you also explain to me how you guys disinfect the unit after each client? Wallace is just one of two inspectors in central Ohio. To give you an idea how much ground she covers, there's more than 1,200 nail salons in Franklin County alone. Consequently, nail salons are inspected just once a year. And you do that after each client, correct? We tagged along on a few inspections. Lux Nail Spa on West Henderson Road allowed us inside with our cameras. Can you tell me about these down here, sir? These are used on your pedicures? Wallace spots what looks like used nail buffers and files at this pedicure station. She tells the salon's owner that these sort of instruments cannot be used on more than one customer. These are one time no, use no, no, only, okay? okay? What's most important is to make sure that those tools and instruments are very properly cleaned. The owner tells me he doesn't reuse anything. He says he merely overlooked throwing them away. Everything in here, we finish this now, we throw it away. We don't use it for the second time. Wallace discovers another violation regarding some of these manicure and pedicure kits. There was a lot of debris and residue, nail clippings and things like that in the boxes. Wallace tells the owner he has 30 days to take care of these violations. Yes. I follow him. <laughs> How are you? Wallace's next stop, CK Nails on Reed Road. Is it okay they come in? No. We weren't allowed inside, so after her inspection, Wallace gave us the lowdown outside. Some of their implements were not stored properly. She says they were reusing pumice stones and pedicure slippers, two serious violations. When I opened the washer, they had the pedicure slippers inside the washer, so they were washing those out and then reusing those. Wallace plans to do a follow-up inspection within the next 30 days. Now there are things you can do to protect yourself from these funky nail nightmares. Make sure nail techs are using clean instruments, that they're wearing gloves or washing their hands in between customers, and give these foot tubs a good look over. If you see a film on top of the water, the water needs to be changed. Dr. Kern says prevention actually starts at home. Really keep your hands and feet moisturized. Remember, it's those microscopic cuts from having dry skin that you can get the wart virus, you can get bacteria, you can get you know fungal infections.